Hey Knitters, it's Louise from Wildflower Wool here, and I am assuming that if you're watching this video, you're probably knitting the Mayflower Shawl. This is a quick video to show you how to do the wrapped stem stitch that is on chart two. It is chart two of the Mayflower Shawl. I've just wrote one out, written out, excuse me, row one of the pattern of the shawl chart. You're going to slip the first stitch, you're going to knit two. Those are your three edge stitches. Then the pattern repeat is a knit one, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. Now, the six arrow stitches, this is the wrapped stitch. You're going to repeat these, and then you'll knit one more, and that will be the end of your repeat row. So what you're going to do is you're going to come across those six arrow stitches are going to be six stockinette stitches. So let's mark it one, two, three, four, five. There are six stitches. The chart abbreviations is going to say pick up stitches four, five, and six and pass them over. So we want to keep on stitch one, two, and three. We're going to pick up the fourth stitch from the tip of our needle. We're going to pick it up and we're going to pass it over those three stitches. The first one is a little tricky. You probably want to use your finger to hold that stitch on. Pass it up and over and let one stitch fall off. Now we're going to come back. We're going to pick up stitch five, up and over and let it fall off and pick up stitch six, up and over and let it come off. So we've wrapped these three stitches by passing over three stitches. So we've taken three stitches off the needle. We have to put those back on. So what were the next step in the instructions? It says in these next three wrapped stitches, we're going to make a yarn over. There's bringing back one stitch. We're going to knit the first of the wrapped stitches. Make another yarn over. There's the second stitch we have just made. Now we're going to knit two stitches. And that third stitch that we need is made right here with another yarn over. So now we're back to six stitches. Then we're going to follow that last, that last stitch on our chart, which is a knit one. And we knit one. So that gives us a wrapped stitch. And that is how you do that. So if you want to go back and review it, but you're going to always start with a section of six stitches. You're going to count the fourth one in, count from the right to the left. One, two, three, four. You'll pick up the fourth and you'll drop it up over and off. And it's just that first one that sometimes the stitches get close to the end. And then you repeat that for the fifth stitch and repeat it for the sixth stitch. Then you do the yarn overs to get your stitch count back up to six. And that's all there is to do it. Sometimes it just looks so weirdy on paper that showing a quick video is the easiest way to show you how it's finished. So good luck, happy knitting. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.